Firstly, I think I'd like to say I'm sorry that it's taken so long to solve. We were making good progress and then the um, the COVID, the, the, the whole COVID pandemic hit and that cost us a lot of time in terms of getting our engineers from the specialist companies out to, to do the work. They couldn't during the lockdown. So that's why it's taken so long. But I am I'm sorry about that. Um, we have made good progress since. Um, we've looked at a huge range of options, um, as, we, as we highlighted at the beginning of the process, to see what, if anything, would be effective and practicable. Um, lots of things that we thought might be good. Um, some technological changes on the depot or to the trains proved to be either not possible or they just wouldn't make enough of a difference to protect the night's sleep that our, our residents are complaining about. Um, so what we're looking at now is to is to make operational changes to the way we use the Nova 3 trains. Um, they will still call at Scarborough, which is very important for Scarborough as a town and as an economy, um, but they won't have to use the depot overnight. Um, and so we're looking at making that change very, very quickly as soon as we can get the planning and the consultation done so that we can we can finally switch off this overnight noise that people find so difficult. So does that mean that the trains will be um, having maintenance during the day then rather than at night time? How will it work? No, the um, what, what we'll do is to, is to when the trains arrive at the station, they will simply be shut down and then they'll be started up the next morning before they go as, as normal. They won't go down to the depot. Um, what we've done is to change our plans in terms of how we use the trains and the drivers and the conductors um, to a different setup so that we don't have to go onto the depot for fuel and for toilet servicing. We can do that on the other side of the country in Manchester. It's much less efficient, so it affects capacity overall, but we think it's a, a good trade-off. And, and critically for us, it allows us to keep running trains to Scarborough, which is so important for helping helping the economy bounce back from COVID. So what will the depot um, be used for? You know, because you spent a lot of money and a lot of time building that depot for the purpose of, you know, like overnight maintenance, etc. So um Obviously, you don't want to waste all that money. So what's the depot going to be used for if um, your plan is going to actually happen quite quickly? Well, our plan will go in phases. I mean, what, what's clear is the depot is very important. It's a source of good quality local employment. And I think everyone was very pleased when it opened and, and we're very, very proud of it in that sense. It's just this problem with the locomotive noise that's, that's, that's unacceptable. Um, and critically for us, I think the key thing is we cannot run a locomotive engine on that depot regularly overnight. So that's what we have to avoid. Now, in the future, the, the, the very quick thing we can do is just to get the trains off that depot. Um, and that can be done by a process called very short term planning. So it can be done quite quickly in terms of all the railway timetables. Um, later on, we'll probably make other changes, which may include other quieter types of rolling stock going onto that depot or the trains coming on much earlier so we don't run engines overnight and then going off much later. So we're we're looking at that. That's more complicated and it takes longer to do. But I think the pressure we're under from residents is to do something quickly. So we'll be using the, the colleagues on the depot who we value greatly. They'll be coming to help us do work at the station on the trains overnight just to do cleaning and, and make sure the trains are put to bed nice and safely. But um, for the time being, for, for, for a brief few months, there won't be any work going on on the depot at all. And obviously you said that um, residents are wanting a quick solution. So is this the only sort of um, plan that you have in place that is, um, you know, the most quick and efficient? Or were there other sort of suggestions that you've got that you will probably could be consulting on um, and then seeing what the majority of the responses is, is like? Well, I think our, um, our our view was to make sure that we we, we did something that was effective, uh, and that's both reducing the noise a lot and quick. So, I mean, for example, we could have come up with um, a, a, a wild scheme to electrify the railway and run only electric trains, which are much quieter, but it would have taken years. And I don't think that's any use at all to the residents who are having their sleeps disturbed now. Um, we looked at options to put extra soundproofing on the depot. They were really, really expensive, so expensive they might almost have threatened the viability of the service. And when we did the calculations, they were only just good enough at a slight change in wind direction and they may still have woken residents up. So that's when we realised that actually for all the exciting technological solutions, best thing is just to make an operational change and stop running locomotive engines on that depot overnight, which is what we're doing. And um, is there any timescales in terms of um, <clears throat> the stages that you're planning on, 
you know, doing the consultation and getting um, the pl- the planning permission, etc., for this? What you know, what the, what is the timeline that residents who are hearing this, um, what when can they get a good night's sleep, basically? Um, a, a very few weeks now. We have to go through a process called the very short term planning process, which gets it all all the different train times uploaded into the into the national railway timetables. And, that, and it, this is affecting all of our services between effectively Liverpool and Scarborough. So it's, it's, a, it's a big change and that, that's being done. We also have to seek the agreement and permission of, 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 of partners like Scarborough Council, North Yorkshire Council, Rail North Partnerships to make sure that everyone agrees this is the right balance of things. We think it is. We think it's a very clear argument. Um, so we just have to go through those processes. But it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very few weeks before we can make the changes and hopefully a relatively short number of days before we can actually make an announcement on it. It would be wrong of me to describe it in, 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 in immaculate detail now, just in case someone comes up with a good objection. But I don't think they will. Have any of the residents sort of... Um... You know, especially the ones that keep kind of getting in touch with you guys to complain about the train noise. Have you told them sort of what you're planning and are they all for it? We've had to be a bit careful about that. And I, I, I apologise to residents who don't feel they've been told enough. But we, we, we have to make sure that we don't say something which another industry or, or government partner then says, no, you can't do that. It's not entirely within our gift. So we've We've, we've kept people appraised of the process. We've, we've talked with Scarborough Council about what the message should be. And I do appreciate that some people will think they haven't been told enough. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping very soon we can come up with it with a clear statement a, a, of how we're doing it and most importantly for them what we're doing, which is which is to remove the locomotives from the depot overnight. Anything else that you'd like to add at all, Paul? No, I just just repeat my sympathies and apologies to those residents who've had to wait so long for this. We will we will get this moving as quickly as possible um, and, and then not allow the noise back. Even if there are later changes we make later on, um, we, we will keep these these class 68 locos with their very noisy engines away from uh, away from their night's sleep as far as we can.